Hey everyone, welcome to Journey of Holiness, where we pursue Christ and thrive in life. My name is Cecilia and Monique, and thank you so much for tuning into this video. So today, I am going to be sharing my testimony about um, healing, but hurting, how God healed me from two incurable diseases. So, um, this all started back around fall of... 2017 i started to experience these very extreme very just um unnormal symptoms i couldn't hold down food um was constantly feeling um just very tired i couldn't stand up for periods of time i was having difficulty when it when it pertains to just like remembering stuff, just simple things that sometimes we take for granted like locking the door behind you or um what's another thing that I, I used to forget like not being able to put stuff back in the fridge or like not remembering what i have to do for the day like i it was very 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 like just unlike me because i'm a person who's on my stuff on it all the time like i got it i'm ready like let's go and that's what like i just was operating completely opposite to what i needed to at that time um you know and I just started a new job and it was a job that was actually correlating to my major and how many of us know who's ever graduated from college or if you have not graduated from college yet like yo like finding a job that actually correlates your major is a whole miracle in itself so starting that new job I constantly found myself was feeling sick um like I had to call out a lot you know it was a job where we had to move and i would get tired of standing up like literally the whole time that i worked there there's not one week that i didn't call out sick and i felt so bad but the manager like that was god's grace the manager was so sweet so nice and even when i was you know um just letting him know you know how i was feeling he just had like just empathy towards me and um i was about to graduate from college um that fall with my undergrad degree and i was set to graduate two days after my 22nd birthday um so as you as you can imagine like it, all these things are going through my head i had all these plans of what i wanted um you know i finally got to a place where i'm like okay i'm serving god i'm no longer just doing things just willy-nilly like i'm finally getting it together like this is gonna be like my new breakthrough the next season of my life like it is gonna come through and god's gonna work something out and i was just super super excited for this next season because i really thought that i was gonna be able to walk into my breakthrough and you know um i had a really really interesting and challenging upbringing and if you would like to know more about that um i detail all about it in my book victory through the odds overcoming a victim mentality to walk boldly in your kingdom identity and i detail everything that you know was a challenge for me growing up and how i had to navigate those those things and go through it so after going through all of those things i'm like okay god this is gonna be my breakthrough I'm gonna enter a new chapter i'm gonna be grown and um it didn't happen that way three days after i graduated from undergrad i um finally got through to a doctor a rheumatologist and um she told me that based off all the symptoms um of everything like it looks like um that i do have both uh lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and um she said but let's just make sure i'm gonna do the blood work but at that time she was pretty much just saying like hey this is what this is this is gonna be a possibility for you this may be a possibility for you um this is an incurable disease um don't try any natural stuff like that's not going to work you may have to be on chemo and um steroids for the rest of your life and i was just like what? like first of all i was just disappointed because i'm just like yo do you not who know do you not know who you're talking to like i'm a child of the most high that's number one number two like you a fellow black lady like you should be encouraging me empowering me in this moment you just tell my son nothing's gonna work you like pretty much like a doom like you about to be doomed to die like if you're not on medication your whole life like you know this may take over your all your organs like it may shut down and for y'all who don't know what um an autoimmune disease is um ironically enough when i was going through everything i didn't know what it was i said yo it feels like my body's attacking itself because it just felt like my mind was attacking itself my emotions my body wasn't working with me i'm just like yo what's what the heck and come to find out my autoimmune disease is when literally your body attacks healthy cells because it thinks it's something actually going wrong um and so it's your body attacking itself so with that you know um you'll feel symptoms of like fatigue or your body you're you're gonna feel symptoms of like 
uh, uh, emotional discomfort, um, even digestional discomfort, and um, I was experiencing all of those. Um, for rheumatoid arthritis, um, my joints started to hurt. So autoimmune disease just, just explains like array of diseases that can you know attack your body and then when you start talking about the specifics so like lupus it'll start to attack specific things um like my skin um, my stomach um my energy rheumatoid arthritis it was more of my joints and my movement so <clears throat> both very like debilitating um <clears throat> and so i got the results or i got like a call back a couple, like maybe a week after I went to the doctor and it was confirmed that that's what it was and <clears throat> when I tell y'all I cried I was like I cried for days um my I lived with my aunt at the time she didn't know what to do and I don't know if I wouldn't know what to do neither um because I was really sad I'm like yo I already went through all this stuff like like I'm living for God now like why are all these things happening to me like i'm supposed to be living my best life i'm supposed to be walking into the fullness that god has for me like what is going on and i realized i definitely was a baby christian i thought that okay if i live my life for god like everything's gonna be working out but what what i don't realize is the bible says that all things work together for those um who love god and who are called according to his purpose so it's not about my purpose <laughs> even though i thought it was it was about god's purpose um fulfilling being fulfilled in my life so, um, <clears throat> I cry, I guess I cried for days and while I was on the floor, God was just like, I'm, you're going to be healed and you're going to walk people through their healing. And I was like, what? Like I am in pain at that time. There, I, I, uh, I cried so much that I think one time, like I couldn't walk, like I couldn't walk for days. I was just in my room. It hurt to get up. It hurt to do anything. Like I just was crying and I crying out to God and like pretty much having a whole pity party like what is going on and God's just like I'm, you're gonna be healed um and I'm just like gonna be healed like, I'm, I'm in pain like I should have already been healed by his stripes I am healed <laughs> but he was just saying how he's gonna walk me through a journey where I was going to showcase what it meant to pursue him wholeheartedly and learn to thrive for his glory and I'm just like yo this is a feel like thriving right now so what's good and um long story short i went through a whole other season of just losing stuff he told me to quit that job that i loved that was so easy and even they were willing to work with me they thought i was a great worker um he had me to leave my home church um very uncomfortable um he had me to leave my family's home and all of these things i believe that he was having me to do was to allow me to have a deeper dependence on him sometimes we take for granted you know things like our health we take for granted things like our circumstances because it's comfortable um it's easy to rely on those things more than really really rely on god and even though we we're saying we have faith in god um you really start to see how deep your faith is when things are taken away from you so um i went through that season and even though it was hurting and it hurt like literally hurt like hell um, God was showing me that, you know, he was healing me. He was healing me. And even though it hurt, it was healing. Um, even though it hurt to be uprooted, even though it hurt to have everything stripped from me, um, on the other side of it, I knew that God was pruning me for his glory. So the, you know, so I just want to encourage you, like, if you find yourself going through anything that's hard, right? Anything that hurts and, you know, you truly believe it's out of your control and, um, you know, you're having a hard time really processing through that. Know that all things are working together for those who love God and call him according to his purposes. So if you are a believer, if you, you know, have surrendered your life to the Lord, if you have received that as his Lord, as your Lord and savior, know that he has a good and a perfect will for your life. Um, it may not feel pretty. I remember God showed me, uh, very early on in my walk, like, yo, this is not about you. Um, and uh i was like it's not about me but i'm in it and he's like yeah you're in it you're being used but it's not about you and it wasn't until that that process that god brought me through where i literally could not do anything anymore in my own strength um my body was at a place where it was shut down all i had was my mind <laughs> my spirit my emotions and even then still feeling betrayed by them because of the disease that i did have um and it definitely was a shock to everyone um he was like you don't look sick and one thing with autoimmune diseases is that you can i can look normal um 
and there were a few times where it did affect my appearance like I would have I would break out in these really really painful hives and rashes and that's when you kind of tell but other than that I looked pretty normal um so people didn't know um but it was a whole new process of learning how to trust in God so um that in those next couple months it was a lot of pain and God was telling me how he needed to heal me from the inside out and what I came to find out afterwards is that the spiritual root of any autoimmune disease is a spirit of self-hate, um, self-rejection. And I know for me, um, I definitely endured a lot of rejection growing up. I, I endured a lot of, um, I want to say hatred, but just a lot of loathing because of my skin. Um, I was always dark skinned, um, darkest one in my family. And it doesn't look like it now, but in Florida, if you live in Florida, you get a good, 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 good mean tan. So um, I definitely probably was like two shades darker than how I am now. Um, I grew up chubby. I was the chubby one in the family and didn't have as much self-esteem. So it's, it's like I literally was just taught to work to um improve what i hated so i didn't like me i didn't love me i didn't feel loved i didn't feel appreciated i didn't feel valued i knew that my had parents that loved me i i knew i had people that appreciated me but i had yet to understand how that was interpreted to 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 me you know and god took me on a journey where he said you know you're gonna heal from the inside out so he had to remove everything that probably was once triggering to me he had to remove everything that also was a crutch to me so i didn't have my education anymore i had a degree but for what i i you know couldn't work um he ended up having me stay at home with um with a baby um and i was i was a nanny <laughs> for six months um and it, it blew my mind like it blew my mind to think it didn't make sense but to god it made sense and it really came down to that verse where it says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path and um i truly started to understand the meaning of my salvation the meaning of my salvation didn't really have nothing to do with me claiming my healing and i'm healed in jesus name because i was healed when god said listen you are healed at that point he was already declaring me to be healed but healing did not mean an absence of pain you know so when the bible says that you know he was bruised for our iniquities um you know what i'm saying by his stripes we are healed jesus had to endure pain for us to be healed and even him when he was on the cross he was already healed he already knew in three days he's gonna raise from the dead and all the trauma that I was going through in his body in three days he was gonna be raised from the dead and he was gonna be healed so when we understand healing in the Lord it does not mean the absence of pain it doesn't mean that things are gonna get done immediately it means that he's about to take you through a process so that you know that you have the mindset of the healed that regardless of what is going on in your body what regardless of what is going on in your life he wants you to understand that in your in your mindset Set, you're transformed by the renewing of your mind you are healed so um you know for me within six months of going through that it was painful i had to confront a lot of things i had to address a lot of things i had to heal from a lot of things but through that i experienced the healing power of god and and at one point yo like six months i think it was six months in i felt the most pain i was like god i'm on this journey like what is going on you're saying i'm healed but i'm in pain and in, it was in that moment god revealed to me like okay you're healed um, but do you not trust my grace to be sufficient? And I pray this prayer. I said, Lord, I believe that I'm healed, even though I'm in the worst pain that it feels like right now. Um, you know, and if you afford me the opportunity to live, because clearly I'm not going to die. There's times I wish that I died. That's how much pain I was in. I was like, Lord, if you're affording me the opportunity to live and I'm going to, you know, have this and be in pain, I'm going to trust that your grace is sufficient, that I am healed regardless of how I feel. And I think that's the place that we need to get to as God's children to know that regardless of what we're going through, if we understand that it's it's in God's grace, in our weakness, um, that his, his grace is sufficient, we don't have to wish for things. We don't have to feel like we want for things because we'll realize that Jesus is all that we need. Jesus is all that we need to feel loved. Jesus is all that we need to feel our breakthrough. Like everything that we're hoping for is already in Jesus. So when we take the time to know him, we take the time in his word, we take time in prayer, we are putting on the mindset of Christ to where it doesn't matter what's going on around us. If we truly know who God is in our hearts, 
that peace will emanate from the inside out instead of trying to wait for an outside situation to change to then give us peace on the inside. So I just want to encourage you, like for me, um, you know, that was my healing journey. And shortly after I prayed that prayer, God did relieve me of pain. I was able to, you know, start a fresh job um, where everything was taken care of. Um, got to start um, my master's program. I met my husband and, you know, all those things sound like fairy tale ish, like what? But it was a process. Like, I, I couldn't wait to have those things to be like, oh, now I'm healed. I had to know that I'm healed even before any of those things came in my life because that was when God knew or God trusted me to handle the things that he had for me because he knew that my mindset was not the same as before. He knew that there was a transformation, a process that was happening. So... You know, I just want to encourage you, like, no matter what you're going through, know that you are healed through Jesus Christ. Not through your circumstances changing, not through something looking like it's getting better. Um, you are healed in Jesus Christ. The finished work of Jesus Christ was, is what makes you healed. Not your, your, your life coming together, not things moving in your direction, not things manifesting for what you want it to be. Just being content in who Jesus is is healing being content who jesus is is riches being content who jesus is is wealth so um and all the other stuff that comes after it it's just the icing on the cake but we should never look for circumstances to change for our love for our love for god to grow or and it's easy you know or we should never look for our circumstances to change um for them to be, oh yes god we trust you more the trust and the level of trust should already be increased before this stuff comes so that is my testimony of the healing power of God. Yes, it sucked. Yes, it hurt. Um, yes, it was, it was even hard for me to believe that I was healed. So I'm just like, I'm not healed. I'm hurting. I'm in pain. Because, you know, we think that things that things that become better it's automatic instant and there's not, there's not to say that things like that don't happen because Jesus did heal people at an instant but when you when you even hear when Jesus was walking he says you know you are healed um your sins are forgiven God had to address a lot of things in my heart and that's why he had to heal me from the inside out so um the road may be long but God never promised that things wouldn't be hard he just said that he will be with us regardless of what we go through. He said that um, the value of the shadow of death, that he is with us, you know, and that we should not fear any evil. So whatever you're going through, especially during this time, I know that we are in a very peculiar time. We are in a time where we're really having to put our faith to the test um, to see God th come through in a way that we probably wouldn't have had to imagine that he would have had to come through before. Um, but that's the cool thing when the Bible says, count it all joy. Oh yeah, that was a scripture that God gave me. I was like, yo, like, God, you tripping. And this time I just talked to God. I'm like, yo, God, for real? He's like, count it all joy. I'm like, God, I'm on the floor, like in pain. He's like, count it all joy when Tess and Charles are coming your way um, because your faith has a chance to grow. So let it grow because you'll be perfect, complete, and needing nothing. And I can truly say that at the end of this season, I was like, yo, God, you're really all that I need. Even if I never had the ability to do things like I did before because I was a go-getter, ambitious. Get what? Need this need to be done? I right, bet. I got you. But I had to slow down. And I was like, God, even if I never operate in the level that I was before, as long as I have you, I'm good. I'm good. And I didn't say that after I had no pain. I had to say that in the midst of me having the highest pain throughout that whole season. And God came through. So just want to encourage you. You are loved by God. I want to encourage you that no matter what you're going through, um, as believers, we're not promised an easy life. If anything, the Bible says that it's not only a privilege to trust in the Lord. So we trust in him. We say, oh, yeah, this is mine. This is my blessing. But it, guess what it says also? It's a privilege to suffer for the Lord. So we have to learn to suffer well. We have to learn to go through things well and um, ultimately know that our life is not for glorifying ourselves. Our lives are purpose to glorify God, our creator, to know that. We are his masterpiece and he's created us anew in Christ Jesus through the things that he planned for us to do long ago. So love y'all in the name of Jesus. I just thank you, Lord God, for the person who's watching this video or whatever they may be going through. Father God, I pray, Lord, that you give them the grit, you give them faith, you give them the understanding that they need. Help them to experience your love in this season, regardless of what may come their way, Father God. I think that they know that they are victorious in you. And I praise you and I thank you, God, for the finished work of your cross, where we can be able to lean, lean not in our own understanding, but lean to you. Lean in your word, lean in your truth.
to know that because you are for us, there's nothing unknown that can be against us. I bless each person, Father God, who's able to hear. Um, and I thank you, Father God, that they're able to continuously grow in their knowledge of who you are so they can grow into the woman of God or man of God that you call them to be. In Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. I love y'all. And remember, no matter what comes your way, you'll flourish by Yahweh.